All right, I'm pretty sure you guys know how to take a photo, but um, photos are saved to JPEGs, but we're gonna talk today about how to make a PNG logo file. Logo files or PNGs are used to store graphics. Um, there are a lot of sophisticated programs out there to do that, like Pixelmator, um, Affinity Design, Adobe Illustrator, Adobe Photoshop. There's a lot of sophisticated things out there to do this stuff. Uh, Microsoft InDesign, I think. Uh, but I'm going to show you two, qu two quick and dirty ones. Um, the second being the classic Microsoft Paint. And the first doing, you can actually do this in Google Docs. So let me show you how to do it. Um, here we go. Folder. I want to keep my stuff Google Docs folder, as you can see on the screen. I'm going to go to New. I'm going to go to More. I'm going to go to Google Drawing. Hey guys, what? We're in a Google Drawing now, right? So if I want to do a little uh, a thing, uh, make a rhombus here, cool. Uh, I can set a fill color for this rhombus, yay. Uh, let's put a text box over here and uh, let's choose a fun font. Uh, Corio New, right? Let's make it bold. Let's increase my font size to about 34. Sure, that sounds good. And we're going to say web design. Boom, boom, boom. Um, you know, like that meme that goes around the internet. My passion is graphic design. Yay, my passion is graphic design. I've made a, um, a logo. So what do I do with it? Well, first, I probably want to give this name uh, web design. Cool. But that just creates, as you see, a Google Drawing. That's not what we want. We want to export this as a PNG. So Google has a weird way of doing this. You go to download, and we download it as a PNG. It's going to ask us where we want to download it to. We just save it into that location. Make sure we're saving it as a PNG. Cool. So that's one way to do it. The other way that we can do this is through Microsoft Paint. So we come down to the Start menu down here. We type Paint, open up Paint. There is also a Paint 3D on these computers, but we want the good old traditional Microsoft Paint. Um, we want a logo, and you'll see here that this is 1080 by 607, way too big what we want. So I'm going to come down here. Let's rescale this. I don't know. Let's rescale this down to um, 250. Cool. So now we, we are in a logo idea. We have it. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. Remember, this is 100%. I'm zooming in just a little bit to work on this. So we have 250 across the top and 140 down the side. Uh, oh, that looks interesting. Let's, let's see what this shape is. Oh, uh, my passion is graphic design. Uh, fill color pink, yay! Outside fill color green. Oh, yay! This looks so beautiful. Um, let's put a tint box in here. Uh, let's pick a font. Ooh, JetBrains Mono. I really like JetBrains Mono. Let's do that. Jet, JetBrains Mono, extra bold. 26 seems a little obsessive on the size. Let's go down to 24. Uh, let's pick a color that goes good. My passion is graphics design, right? Uh, that seems way too big. Let's see, select all the font. Let's go down to 18. Yeah, my passion is graphic design. Need a good exclamation point. Uh, and... Done. Hold on. That didn't quite turn out right. Let's try that one more time. Eh, you guys get the idea. It sucks, but yeah, you get the idea. So what do we do here? We go to File, we go to Save, and we save it as something here. And you can again see that we're saving it as a PNG. So those are two options to make a quick and dirty logo. All right, there are other options out there real quick. I want to run down that list real quick before we say goodbye for today. Um, you have Affinity, Photoshop, Pixelmator, Procreate, Illustrator. Some of these are iPad-only apps. Some of these are on the computer. Um, have fun. Find something that works. Thank you very much.